Hey y'all, this is take three. You're not going to see take one or two because take one and two just disappeared. Something's going wrong. Hopefully this one works. But I'm going to try a video blog right now. I don't usually video blog, but I'm going to try video blogging right now. Uh, so my name is Tom Dixon. For any of y'all who might be just checking this out, um, don't know who I am. Um, so I just got a few things that are going on, as you've probably seen. And I, I just want to kind of recap some of that and go over it. Um, this is something I'm going to try to do now and then, video blogging versus just Facebook or, or Twitter or whatever. So uh, we'll start right off with Country Pride Entertainment. Country Pride Entertainment is a, uh, you've seen that I've officially signed with Country Pride Entertainment. Um, I've been working with Dan Zentz for, for almost a year now, as you all know, and I, I've, I've actually known him for quite a while. And Dan has started this business, Country Pride Entertainment. I mean, he's just kind of taking it to that next level instead of just helping out a bunch of buddies. He's, you know, he's making it, making it official, starting a company. So... <clears throat> We're going to be working with national artists as well as indies like me, um, independents. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Uh, we got some of my buddies on board that are, um, you know, that are going to. We're going to. The Dan's going to try to book some stuff for basically. Maybe we'll get to do some shows together. Um, so I'm excited about that. I know Dan's looking for some new artists. So if you've seen this and new artists, check out uh, countrypride.eng.com and, and, and submit something. So. Anyways, um, what that also means is I'm going to be playing an awful lot more. We're going to be, we're going to be working a lot of booking and doing some bigger shows. Um, Country Pride Entertainment is going to involve uh, show promotion. Uh, going to be a show promoter, basically booking agent, artist management. Uh, going to be kind of all those things for me at least. Uh, we're going to be working with uh, Trailer Choir. I don't know if you all remember Trailer, Trailer Choir. They used to be on Toby Keith's label. They're now um, going to be on... On uh, Cole Ford's new label, Average Joe's, they've actually signed and they're working on a new album. And you can probably hear my cat meowing in the background. So <laughs> you can tell I'm at home right now. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so Trailer Choir, they had that song Rock of the Beer Gut. They had some really cool tunes in the past. So we're really looking forward to hearing their new music and getting out on the road and, and doing stuff with them. There's some really cool cool guys. So um, what, is that, what else does that mean? That means uh, Taste of Nashville Tour is, is a country pride entertainment uh, entity basically it's going to be a tour it's going to go around the country and, and bring Nashville out of Nashville and to the rest of the country it, it's going to be a lot like concert normal concert you see but you're going to see a combination of, of national acts and independent acts um, we're going to work to try to put on a really good show so I'm going to be involved in a lot of that and I, I thank God for that um, and looking forward to some of the acts that, that we've kind of been talking to so um, moving on. <laughs> my cat wants to come say hi. This is this is Sebastian. He's the one making noise in the background here. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. This is gonna be the biggest show Manchester, New Hampshire has ever seen at Club Manch Vegas, right across from uh, the Verizon Wireless Arena. Uh, you can get tickets online. Um, uh, there's a link right from TomDixonMusic.com. Make sure you all check that out. Just go to the the tour dates. Look for that, that, and then there's a little link for for buy tickets. Check it out. They start at 39.95. Excuse me, 39.95. They include uh, a buffet that's gonna have prime rib, which is the whole thing I'm looking forward to in the whole thing. Uh, but also, you know, roasted turkey, all all kinds of fixings and sides with that. So, um, and then also party favors, champagne toast. Um, if you're still standing at midnight, you can partake in the champagne toast and uh, continental breakfast, so that we're hopefully. Uh, not all completely hungover uh, to start off 2015, <laughs> but so there's a lot of things going on with that. There's also some VIP options. You want to check those out. Um, you can also go right to Manch Vegas and buy tickets there as well. They they have options for that. I know the VIP does um, involve a guaranteed seating. The rest of it is just a standard standing room only, unless you find a table that's not already uh, reserved. So. Uh, more things coming up. Uh, new music. New music coming out in early 2015. Uh, like you saw before, uh, I signed with TMG, a small record label. Uh, I'm going to be uh, recording some new music in January. I'm excited. I wrote mo I wrote every song on there. I wrote a co-wrote. There's a couple that I co-wrote with a couple friends of mine, Keith Dozier and Jess Dondero. Uh, besides that, I pretty much wrote everything. This is going to be a really view of, of who I am as a, a writer. Um, not necessarily all experiences in my life, but things that I've, I've seen and, and, and whatever. Well, you'll hear it. You'll see. Um, did a, uh, uh, a stage it show the other day online, and if you were on that, you got to hear some of the music off of that, but not all of it. There's still more. Um, let's see. What else is there? Uh, oh, yeah. Website. New website. Check out the new website. Uh, we got a cool new design up there. 
Um, hopefully very easy for everyone to navigate now. Uh, it was kind of convoluted. It was kind of, I don't know, big word, big word this early in the morning. But uh, it was kind of hard to find where some things were on the site. We got some feedback. So try to really streamline things. Pretty much everything you need is going to be right up at the top of the screen now. So um, just there would be a bunch of links there to get whatever you're looking for. So whether it's tour dates or music or, or the store where you can buy all kinds of cool things like Tom Dicks and Koozies, shot glasses, T-shirts, and, and things like that. So um, lots of options there. But... So check it out, and you can also share things from the website now. Uh, that's actually kind of been an option for a while. I just never really talked about it much, but you can share things right from there, like the schedule. If you go on to the tour dates, you know, and you see a date and you want to share that with all your friends on your social media, just click the little share button, which is just below the description, basically. I think it's a little box with an arrow or something like that, arrow in whatever direction. But um, let's see, what else was going on there? Um... Oh, yeah, Toby Keats, I love this bar and grill. See, I have to keep looking back to my notes. Like I said, this is take three. <laughs> I forget what I've already talked about. Uh, Toby Keats, I love this bar and grill. Um, not only are we still playing Foxborough, Massachusetts, got a couple dates there in 2015. It's one of my favorite places to play in the world. Uh, but now we we're lucky enough to have booked some gigs at the, uh, or the new upcoming Orlando, Florida location, Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, more coming soon. So... Keep an eye out for that. Uh, there's new locations opening, and we might be making a trip down to some of them. So, um, Florida, we tried to play there last weekend, but they had some problems just getting the doors open. Uh, normal stuff with the town, just kind of shutting them down, inspections and whatever. Not health inspection problems, don't worry. There's not, you know, nothing going on bad there. Just normal things to open the buildings, and the city's kind of giving them some trouble. So, they'll be open very soon. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, basically keep an eye on the schedule. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on in, the, in Tennessee more than anything um, this this time of year. Kind of home for the holidays, so um, home here. I'm heading back to New England for just after Christmas, so I'm excited about that to see some people. But uh, kind of playing some shows around here in Tennessee. I got to play in the Wanted Saloon with my buddies uh, J.D. Outlaw and and, um, and Nick Gibson this this uh, Saturday at the Wanted Saloon in Dixon. And then uh, playing with my buddy Eric Holmgren on, right on Broadway in Nashville uh, at the uh, at Bailey's Bailey Sports Grill right downtown there. I've loved Bailey's for a long time. Great beer selection, great food. So uh, it's a cool place to play. I don't play Broadway very often, but when Eric Holmgren gives me a call and says, hey, you want to come play a show with me? And then uh, we get together and do a little duo. So it's a lot of fun. If you're in the area, make sure and come down. Um, today, I'm heading to Nashville today. Just going to write some songs with a couple of my friends. And uh, that's about it. And... Uh, once again, just follow on Facebook if you're not already. Um, like the page, it's facebook.com slash Tom Dixon Music. Or Twitter is also twitter.com slash Tom Dixon Music. And Instagram is at Tom Dixon Country. It's a little different. Someone else had Tom Dixon Music. And until they get rid of that account, uh, we're Tom Dixon Country for now. So, um, so make sure you check that out. Also on Reverb Nation, which is also Reverb Nation dot com slash Tom Dixon Music. So check that out. Check them all out. Follow them all. You can get to all those links from Tom Dixon Music dot com. So whew, that's a whole lot of website jargon. But anyways, thank you very much and uh we'll talk to y'all soon.